Khadija and I'm back again and today I am doing a my plant collection video I was just recording a different video and I just noticed that one of my plants my um my prayer plant I can't think of the calathea my prayer plant is flowering look I didn't even know they could flower I was so excited and I was just like okay I'm going to make a haul video and also today as I was recording because I had to move a plant around I noticed oh gosh I noticed I think it's thrips on one of my philodendrons and I'm so devastated I had a thrip attack on my I had two big monsteras one okay not gigantic one very very big monstera and one like big and I didn't know what was going on at the time. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what was happening. But I was just like, my plant's not doing well. And these things devastated. They killed it. They sucked it dry. They killed this plant. And at the time, I didn't want to use any um, chemicals. I was like, I'm going to use a neem wash. And it'll be all good. Kept washing it, cleaning it. Nothing. It killed it. So now I bought the chemical. The chemical has worked. And because I've seen this here, I'm going to go wash this plant and not this one, but that one I'm going to show you guys next. And I'm also going to everything is going to be handled this weekend because I'll be damned if I'm going to have another thrift thrip infestation. But yeah, so this is my Calathea. I don't name my plants. I just enjoy them. And yeah, I put it by the window. It likes it. So we're just gonna keep it there. I may forget some of the names of these things. I'm sorry, I have watched a lot of plant videos. There's people that I follow that I enjoy. However, I don't know all the names yet of everything. I think this is called a trans, it's a zebra trans something. I can't think of the name, but here it is. This was a cutting that I got and now it is actually growing a little. You see it right there? It's starting to grow out and I could cut it up some more and like plant it to get like bigger um, stuff, bigger or get a more bushier plant. But for now, I'm okay with it. It's growing well and I really like it. I love the colors of this one. After having my first devastation of um, thrips, I decided that all of my monsteras, I have so many different cuttings that are growing in different, um, some that are growing in different uh, mediums. But now I am doing Leka. I still haven't transitioned, I've transitioned most of my plants to Leka. However, like when I, last time I was home in the States, I got some of the the solutions and stuff. I still haven't used it because I'm just like, this seems like a lot, but I'll get to it one of these days. But this is a Monstera. It's growing. It looks like it's doing well. And unfortunately, this is right next to the philodendron that I'm pretty sure has thrips. And I cut the leaf that um, was a baby leaf that was coming through that was going to be big, but it just never unfurled. So I cut that off and I saw the little things around. I was like, oh God, this one looks healthy. It looks like nothing's eating at it yet but I'm gonna wash everything but yeah this is my monstera this has not it's just been like this it's it's grown this but it's not done anything more so this is all I have it's a calathea or something I don't know what it's called but I really like it it's really pretty but it's not growing beyond this I'm like can I have some more and nothing else is going there's just it's getting taller is it sister no. so this one as well I have Several um, cuttings. I have one here. I have two of them here. So it's growing new ones. I have another, a couple others in the kitchen. And um, it looks like this. It's doing well. It's growing. This used to be a lot bushier with like several stalks on it. But this is it now. It's okay. Oh, what's it called? I forgot the name. Oh my God, is there a thrip on here? Oh God. This is all getting washed. All getting washed. This is a pink, oh, confetti pink something. I can't think of the name. If I remember, I'll put like a link in the, um, or not a link, I'll put like a little thought bubble or something in the video. But it's a con pink confetti, whatever this plant is called. Voila. 
So it's growing. I cut the leaves because they didn't look like they were doing well. And now it's put out a new one here. And we have another one here that is unfurling. And this is also in Lekka. Here is the same family. This is the mojito version. I don't know what, it's Syngonium, Syngonium. So that one is the um, Syngonium pink confetti. And this is the Syngonium mojito. I don't know why, it's just, it started yellowing. It was, it's been doing well. It hasn't, it's been several months now. It hasn't given me a new sprout. The leaves are big and they look lovely apart from here where it's yellowing and then like here as well. So I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm like sad. I want it to like be healthy. And this one is also in Lekka and it's doing fine. This one I bought in Paris. It's doing well. It's been like this for a while. I could cut it, but I still have it. So I, I like this one. It's doing good. I like the colors. The colors make me happy. And my snake plants, they they do me well. They don't have, I have no issues with them. Even when I had attacks like from thrips, they've never touched them. So I'm happy with my snake plant. This is the first um, plant. I don't know if it's the first plant that I got when I was in France, but I got this from Ikea. This is probably like five, six, five years old maybe. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's. I've had this one for a while. And this one, I've never repotted it. I think it needs to be repotted because you can tell on the edges it's growing new pups. Like here, it's like, I need something bigger and I'm gonna repot this one soon. I'm actually gonna give a couple cuttings of this and this to a friend because she wants some um, to Lily. If you've seen my um, French friend tries American Candies video. So I'm gonna give some to Lily and you know, she can up her um, plant collection. But yeah, this is the one that I got from Ikea. Still doing well. This one, I think I bought it in Carrefour. But yeah, still enjoy these. This here, I bought it when I was in Paris. This girl was like moving. And at the time when I bought it, it had more leaves. I had like, uh, I, I cut the stalks off that were on these sides because they didn't look good. And I was just like, mm. And she told me she'd had an attack on her plants and she put yeah these are actually all the new ones i cut off all the socks that were there originally so the ones that she had they had like this really thick like thing on it then that's what she used to protect it from the attacks that she had the in insect attacks and i didn't like that look of the really thick whatever and this is the only leaf that has this issue the rest of them are doing fine and it's even there's a new one coming in you see it right there so this one i haven't had any issue this one is also in lekka and doing it's thriving honestly Ooh, and i love this oh birds of paradise i don't think i named it so this is the birds of paradise so this is my rubber tree okay this plant i bought this in paris i paid five euros for this this girl was selling on the bon Quam, including the um the basket that it comes in it's beautiful. I might actually do a video um, recording like on my phone to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, my battery's gonna die, oops. So yeah, this is my rubber plant. When I was in Paris, this was thriving. It actually, when I bought it, it had um, these two big, these two branches here, plus a huge one on the side right here. You can't see it. Let me see if I can lift it. Oops, it's like over two meters tall. You see right there, I cut that part and um, I was propagating it, and this was in the springtime when I bought it, but because the branch was so thick, it wasn't it wasn't making like the the, um, the roots, it wasn't coming through, so I think I ended up throwing it away, because I was like, this is taking too long. And it was doing well, like all, what is this? All over here, you see these really big leaves? And it's, it's happy. It's just like, I think it gets too big, it can't support itself staying up like that, so it droops down. But all along here, you can now see all these little parts where they fell off. When I moved into this apartment, because now I'm not in Paris anymore, I moved into this apartment and um, the leaves started yellowing. Just the ones in the middle, well, the big, yeah, just all of these. They started yellowing and falling off and I don't know what was, I didn't know what was wrong. I wasn't even gonna throw it away because I was like, what's happening? I don't know. So I, um, I got some cocoa core, core, I think that's how you say it, and the regular soil that it was in. I looked in the soil to see if it had like an infestation. It was fine. I cut the roots, like all the roots to see, um, not all the roots, but I cut, cut off a lot of the roots and, um, it started thriving. 
it's growing and we have little buds here like where there's one here that is going to be growing soon and then there's like a couple on this one as well new branches are going to be coming soon um but yeah it's growing some leaves are a bit deformed but it's coming through so i'm happy with her she is well over two meters long let me stand hold on and i decided to wear this shirt i'm giving you miss frizzle you can't see me but yeah this is two over two meters long but i love her oh my gosh she makes me so happy and now let's look at this problem child this plant i actually adopted in Paris. It's a philodendron of some kind. I don't know. If you know the name, let me know below. But this is the one that has the thrips. I only saw it on that one leaf, but it looked like it was doing fine. It's been by my window. It looks like it's been doing fine. But yeah, we're definitely going to wash this. And yeah, I'm scared. But yeah, this is her. When I tell you this was, <laughs> this, this is one stalk. I had like, I think probably five, six. It was a big plant with fenestrations, everything. I was so excited about it. And yeah, I had to cut that down. It's growing a new leaf here that's unfurling, which I'm happy about. And it's living living in Leica as well. Um, this one, I actually had to cut off another um, leaf on it because it looked funny. And I was just like, if it looks funny, I'm scared. I think it's like an infestation. And since I cut it off, this started growing. It looks better. And also their roots had, some of the roots had molded. So now like you, with Leica, you have to be careful. So make sure you're smelling this, you're rinsing this out regularly. Otherwise you're going to have issues with the roots, but it's doing well. It's There's even algae growing. So I need to take care of this soon to get rid of the algae. But yeah, it's doing well. And for me, Leica is the way right now because I'm not a fan of my plants um just getting killed and i don't like at least i think the thing i like about Leica is the fact that i can control the fact that no bug is going to be living in the soil and messing up with the roots because i don't i don't know any that does but they haven't been doing it so far is it a cactus or a cacti i don't know cactus let's just say it had three different um ones here one was dried up and died oh is it growing and then there's like one looks i see some Something in there is growing, I don't know, right there. And then it had another one, and this one flowers, it has like red flowers on the top. I didn't know if something was wrong with this because it looks like it has some kind of weird dots and stuff around it. Different discoloration in between in the middle, and I'm like, is it mold? And it's not, it's been growing fine, I guess. Especially on this side, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see, in there, in between the stalk, I don't know. But it was like blue and I'm like, what's wrong with it? Like this part here, if you look at it, it's like blue. It's, I don't know, but it's still living. It, it, it looks like it's gotten taller from the last time. So I don't know, I actually poked myself with it earlier when I was like moving the plants around. This is a cutting. This took a while for the roots to finally start growing, but it's finally grown and I've not put it in soil. This is coco core. And um, I put a whole bunch of like a balls at the bottom, you know, to kind of make a reservoir. And then I put cocoa core with a mix of um, Leica and then I covered Leica on the top because I like the look of it. But yeah, so hopefully this will be growing soon and I can have a new leaf, but this is the rubber tree. I think it's called Taniki, Tanike, something like that. But I really like it. I love the colorings on it. This one has gone through some things. I recently just repotted it. Like it was, the leaves are falling off and dying, falling off and dying. And I think now it looks like it's happy. I put on a um, a little stick behind it to support it. But yeah, if you can see the new growth. I forgot the name of this one. Oh, but yeah, it's this. As I said, I don't know the names of all these plants yet, but I like them, so I get them. It's a Calathea Tri-Star. Like this literally came from the States. It was um, like, there was no, no flowers. Like it just literally the, bit of the roots that I had left and I put it in my luggage it survived and now it's growing and it looks like it's happy so happy with about that the, the roots are growing in so this is the I think it's called the Chinese evergreen this is what I brought with me from the U.S. I'm gonna get rid of this one once it starts growing some more but this took a while so this has been since I came back in January it is now what is it today it, basically end of April and it's finally finally growing so happy about this i'm really excited about this Yay. can you see it voila it's a hoya 
I think it's really pretty. This has grown. This was like probably here and it's growing from this much in the past few months. Apparently this one flowers. I, I don't see anything yet, but it has little new leaves and new growth coming through and I really like this one as well. This one was a rescue. This has been taking a long time for it to grow. It started growing these things here. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look, I don't know what it is. It looks weird, but we'll see if it grows. I have my Skindapsis. This was thriving. This has been doing so well. And now it's, I don't know what's happening. I've checked, there's nothing on the leaves. I don't know what is going on. It's not happy. Something's wrong. Like I cleaned the, cause this is in Leka as well. And it's been in Leka, it's been doing fine, but I don't know what's happening with it. So I have to do some work. It's been fine. And then it was even longer. Like it was trailing and I've cut it and I'm, I'm making, the cuttings will be made into, um, I'll let the cuttings grow so I can like put it back in here. So this will be bushier, but I hope this will survive. I don't know what's going on with it. We have the um, Monstera Adesonia, Adesan, Monstera Adesonia, I think that's how you say it. Here it is, this was a cutting and it's been growing well. It had like actually a bigger leaf, but that died off. A couple of actual leaves, bigger leaves that died off and now it's just growing. These are all new leaves. The original leaves that it did have didn't survive and this one is also in Lekka. And I really like it, it's really cute. Moving on, pothos, I have so many pothos. Pothos upon pothos upon pothos. So many cuttings. This, no, it's that one. I had one that was gigantic. It was too much, it was way too much. And it was so leggy, there was not a lot of, you know, leggy is in the sense of like, here where it's missing, there's gaps missing of um, leaves. So I was just like, no, nah, I cut it. I have so many cuttings of it that I need to get rid of. I need to give away or sell. People actually sell cuttings. But anyways, I might do that, we'll see. But um, this one has a neon, one neon that's here that needs to be removed. But this is a, a marbled one, a pothos marble or whatever it's called. I don't know what the name is. But a lot of the leaves, cause it's actually now away from the window. It's all the way um, in the living room area. So a lot of the new leaves are coming in are more green than marbled. And I know that if I stake it up that it'll grow bigger leaves, but I've seen the um, moss poles and I don't necessarily like gigantic pothos leaves. I think it's cool, but no, not for me. And here's the neon one. So it's doing fine, I guess. There are some leaves that have like spotting. I don't know why. But yeah, this one is also in, they're both in Leica and this one is also like in the living room area. So this is what it looks like. I have three bamboo. So all of which I got from Ikea. Back in the day, they used to be 99 cents at Ikea. Now they're two euros. Crazy, right? Yeah, this is my bamboo. It's looking good. And these used to be what, like 50 cents or cheaper at Ikea. Now it's a, now there's like a, the rounder one that's a little bit bigger, which I have actually. Now it's like a dollar 50 or I mean a euro 50. The prices, yo, they are tripping with these prices. The jade plant. This has been such a labor of love. I swear, I don't know. I guess I'm not taking care of it well enough. It's been growing like, and this is the first time I've seen it grow with these red um, spots in the back. I've never, it's never grown like this before. And it's, uh, maybe it's just cause it's springtime and it's actually by the window. So maybe that's why, but it's okay. A lot of the little leaves, if you can call them that have fallen off, they fall off all the time. But this, these are the ones that are still standing. So it's still alive. Well. <laughs> so at Little, if you're in Europe and you shop at Little, well, I don't know if they all Littles do it, but I imagine. Um, so at Little, they, and this, I've gone to like three different ones in my area that do this. So they'll have like, if something doesn't sell quickly enough, or they have a plant that's dying, they'll sell it for like 50 cents or a euro. This one was a euro and it, it included the pot. So this is a philodendron. I don't know what, but it has like these weird, like, it, it kind of feels like turf right here, um, legs and it had like 
three leaves I cut um, one of the major leaves off or two of them actually off and I kept this one and since it's finally started growing there's some new growth coming through as you can see right there so happy about her if you know the name of this one below let me know I just know it's a philodendron I think I actually got the name because there's this one guy I think he's from Malaysia I can't think of his name right now but I really enjoy his channel I learned so much watching his channel and um yeah he's really cool I have two Birkins okay because I got it like that <laughs> So this girl, she was actually thriving. I don't know what's going on with her. If she's sick, if there's something attacking her. She is in Lekka as well as most of my plants. But this was a lot bushier. I actually got rid of a lot of leaves um, like a few days ago because I was just like, what is going on? Why is it yellow? If I see yellow, I, I guess you're supposed to let it stay on. I don't. I take it off. Um, but yeah, so this is my Birkin. I have another one over there. And yeah. It was a lot bushier. It looks so good. Like if you've seen some of my videos where I'm like doing, um, not, what is it called? I'm um, reviews or something. Like sometimes like I'll, ex I'll change out the plants that I have here. It was here before and it was bushy and it looked good. And now it looks like this, but here she is the Birkin. She's doing good, I guess. Yeah, this is my Diffenbachia. When I got it, it had leaves up to, I think about here. However, they didn't look so good. And the person that was getting rid of them, they were like, oh, this was attacked by spider mites, I think was the issue. And she didn't want to have it anymore. So I was like, I'll take it. I rescued this one. Um, so it's a, it lives in Lekka because I don't want to deal with um, spider mites because they can go in the soil. I don't, it's, there is a couple new growths. And one of the things that happened when I got it, right? I didn't know this did this. It has like a, um, kind of like, you know, uh, like a, is it a petal? You know in flowers how like there is that one, I don't know what it's called, but the thing where like the bees can come and like fertilize it. It has a thing like that, which had like a lot of look, egg looking things. I was like, what the hell is this? I thought I was scared at, at, at first. And I was like, is there some bug that's about to come out of this? But it's died off that thing. And now we have some new growth kind of. There's a tiny one. I don't know if you see it. There she is. There's a tiny one coming in. I really like this Diffenbachia. Yeah, I want another. I used to have one that had like mostly white, but I didn't know at the time. This was years ago. I didn't know how, how to take care of it. And it was like in the dark instead of the, by the sun. And it didn't do well. But I think this one, because I just don't like it looking so leggy like this. I think I'm going to cut it maybe up to like here. And then the rest of them, I'm going to make some, like grow some new ones and propagate them. And probably give some away and others... So maybe we'll see for like a euro or something. We'll see. But yeah, I really love the coloring of this one. And it's been doing fine. Sometimes I feel like I see like white things, but it's not spider mites because I check because I'm paranoid about like infestation. But here she is. But yeah, these new leaves that are coming in, they're not that big. Like look at how this is. And then these are the new growths and they're coming in small like that. So sometimes it's not happy. And I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with her. This lady sold it to me. I thought it would, according to what I saw online, it looked like it was a lot thicker. It had like at least three long, it was like probably this long, long um, thingies. And when I came, it literally was just one. And I was just like, girl, and she just folded it around. I was like, and I, I had already come, so I was like, fine. And then I got a couple other plants because she was selling some for a good deal. But I was really annoyed because I'm like, I wouldn't have wasted my time to come. But this is a string of hearts. So this is the last of the propagation that survived actually. So what I did with that one long string that she gave me, I cut them up and I propagated it. The only thing is I went to the States for like a while and um, the, my friend who was coming to like water my plants, like, well, it didn't survive. I mean, it's not their fault, it's my fault really, but it didn't do so well so this is the remaining of what survived and i think these as well i'm gonna cut and propagate so i can have a more bushier plant but yeah this is my string of hearts it's cute isn't it i don't take care of this plant very well i don't think i even like it this is the um spider plant it has it, it used to be bigger but I don't really like the look of the baby plant coming in and I tend to cut them off like I think I'll probably just give it away to someone because I don't really love this plant. It's just kind of like, eh. 
it's just it, it doesn't bring me joy it's okay the one i actually wanted was the one that has the the white edges i think that one i might like better this one just is kind of like matte to me so i don't take care of it as well as i should which isn't nice but it's the truth but so far these are my plants i actually have more than what i've shown you but a lot of them are the same plants and like you know in different rooms and um a lot of them i have cuttings for a lot of things i need to get rid of or give away or sell or whatever most likely just give it away because I, I can't be bothered but um yeah so these are my plants um i'm really excited about them they bring me so much joy like just seeing the flowering on the calathea like i never knew they flowered like how pretty it's so cute so I'm really excited in here. We have new growth coming all up and through here. And then oddly enough, right? I don't know if this was a mistake, but these ones right here, they don't barely grow and they don't like, it looks like a different Calathea. I don't know what the name of it. Is it the lime one? Uh, look at this. But then on some of them, the back is red, as you can see, but it just looks like the lemon lime one, if that's what it's called. So I don't know what that's about, but these are actually two different plants that I put together. Because the first time I had this, I killed it. It didn't survive because I, I didn't know what I was doing with this because this is a very particular plant. But now I water it and leave it by the window and it, it's doing fine. It is doing very, very well. So I'm excited about it. But yeah, these ones, I don't know if I'll repot them just because it's like not the same color. It's so weird. See it? It's so bizarre. But yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I just love plants. They just bring me so much joy. Instead of buying me a bouquet of flowers, give me some plants because flowers are going to die. They're cute and all, but I'd rather have something that's going to like sustain and like bring me joy and I see it just thriving. And I am not, I wouldn't say I have a green thumb. I've researched a lot about plants. I could watch a lot of videos about and follow people that are like plant enthusiasts. And I can't think of a lot of their names. I'm thinking of only plants. I like him. I think it's a him. There's this one black guy that's from Canada that I enjoy watching. He does like really short videos. There's a guy that I think is from Malaysia. I can't think of. Um, Plantinaria, I think that's her name. Her, her, she's a little, a lot sometimes. So I can't really handle watching her. Like she's very important. You know, it's very informative to watch her stuff. But it's just, she's just kind of all over the place. So it's just kind of. A little lot for me to watch but there's a lot of people that I enjoy watching and just like getting new different plants to my in my area or in my home just brings me joy and I look forward to collecting more so next time I'm gonna have like an actual jungle in my home and you'll just be your breath will be taken away but yeah so these are my lovely lovely little babies and they make me so happy um, thank you guys for watching this. If you did like it, I don't know, but I wanted to share because they bring me joy and maybe it's my bring you joy. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and you're all be back soon for a new video. Peace out, peace out, and hugs. Ooh, ooh.